Earth has about 370 quintillion gallons of water. If all that water was inside a single drop, it'd be 860 miles wide. Of course, it's not. Earth's water can be found all over the planet. Earth's water budget tells us where that water is and what form it takes. Just like you might have some money in your wallet, some saved in the bank, or some in a long-term investment, Earth's water is spread across lakes, rivers, glaciers, oceans, and groundwater, with some being easier to access and use, and some, well, not so much. So where is all 370 quintillion gallons of water? And how much can we use for drinking, growing food, and daily life? If you've seen a picture of Earth from space, or if you're lucky enough to have been to space, it'll be no surprise that most of Earth's water, a whopping 96.5% of it, is in Earth's oceans. While this salty water provides a great habitat for all sorts of marine life and makes a nice setting for surfing a wave, the water in Earth's oceans isn't drinkable. That means just 3.5% of Earth's water is fresh and might be used for drinking or watering crops. Might is the important word here. Nearly half of Earth's fresh water is frozen solid in glaciers, ice caps, and permanent snowpack, making it pretty tough to access as usable water. The next most abundant source of fresh water is what's known as groundwater. As water seeps into the ground from above, it fills the cracks, pores, and spaces between bits of rock. If you look deep enough, you might find that all the space between rock particles has been filled, forming an aquifer. Aquifers store huge amounts of water that can be pumped out to the surface for drinking water and irrigating crops. Like a savings account, it can take a long time, even centuries, for groundwater to accumulate. That leaves just 0.1% of all water that isn't salty ocean water or fresh water that's frozen or buried in the ground. If you were looking for easy access to what remains, think again. Most of this tiny fraction of Earth's water is frozen as permafrost. Some exists as moisture in the soil, a bit is in the atmosphere as water vapor, and some makes up the water that exists within living creatures. Just 0.01% of all water on Earth is on the surface in lakes, rivers, swamps, and marshes. Most water on Earth has been here for billions of years, and during that time, any single drop might have moved between different parts of Earth's water budget. Moving from one part of the budget to another, a process known as the water cycle can happen quickly, like when water evaporates from a lake and moves to the atmosphere. It can also happen slowly, like when water makes its way deep underground. Understanding where these different forms of water exist and how they move is an important part of understanding our planet and planning for future water needs. NASA has a fleet of satellites studying the location and movement of Earth's water, each designed to measure certain types of water. Some measure the movement of groundwater or ocean currents, while new missions like SWAT and NISAR will also fill gaps in our knowledge by measuring fresh water and possible hazards. Together, these missions help bring NASA's water budget and cycle into focus. So next time you feel a drop of rain on your face, imagine all the places that water might have been during the last few billion years and where it might be in the next.